Hey everyone, how's it going? I am here at Comic Con and um, in New Orleans, and so I'm gonna show you some great stuff. So let's go. I can hold my phone down here, show you guys the stream that I'm doing with my Action Two, and um, Action Two is really helping. How you doing? We're in the celebrity area to where multiple celebrities come. Go over here. This is the. Um, this is the red carpet area, like if you want to get your picture taken. A lot of celebrities that come over here, and you can look at the screen as well. Um, this area where you can uh, take your photo, backdrop if you want to, and movie backdrop. So say like, uh, I wanted to go over here, take a picture in a backdrop. Definitely, I could. Those of you that have never been to a Comic Con before, it's pretty fun. And uh, you line up, there's a a lot of long lines when you go to um, one in your area. Say like if you lived in Cincinnati, Cincinnati, sorry, or Chicago, you see these lines full capacity. And because of COVID, they do have special rules. Food and drinks right over here. We can zoom in right there. Food and drinks and stuff so you have food drinks at that area right over here sometimes they do have alcohol as well so those of you that want alcohol can have alcohol so those of you that um, are looking at this area this is where you can come and have a celebrity sign something of yours or you can take a photograph with a celebrity and then you can have a frame Giving you guys a good walk through here. Here you go. See, you can um, get information about this kind of stuff. Ooh, Iron Man. Who is a big fan of Iron Man? How you doing? Alright! Good. Feel free to look through the books. I've got rock stars, superheroes, lots and lots of Disney. Oh, peanuts. <laughs> I got peanuts too. That's cool. Right on. How much is that peanuts one? Oh, it's just 15 each or 3 for 35. 3 for 35. I sign and personalize anything you want for free. Oh, wow. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. Fantastic. You want to get one now or you want to keep looking? Keep looking. All right. Thank you. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Nice turtle stuff. Thank you. How are you doing? Nice drawing. Thank you. How long does it usually take you to draw something? Between five and twelve hours. Oh, nice. It's it takes a long time. Right. This one is probably more because there's so much detail, and I'm an idiot. I like to put details. So. Right. Yeah. It's a long time. Right. Do you do it by picture or by memory or? No, I use I use I usually use picture like like photos and stuff. Here and raise my prices for the next one. You enjoy reading superhero novels? Somewhat, yeah. Okay, I enjoy writing them. I've done six of them. Nice. Nobody gets a girl. My very first novel back in came out back in 2003. It's a guy who wakes up one morning. He's a ghost in his own house. Strangers are living there. They can't see or hear him. It turns out his life has been erased by a time machine accident caused by some superheroes. And the only people that he's still real to are these superheroes and the supervillains. Uh, and so uh, he's, but to the rest of the world, he's literally a nobody. So in this war between the superheroes and the supervillains, who can save us? Nobody. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, and then each book in the series uh, is a standalone. Two of the villains in this book. Uh, 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 in this one, they steal uh, Harley Davidson going across country roads and trip, robbing banks, 
feed, busting, uh, uh, burning top cars, busting up uh, bars, uh, just behaving very badly, but it's a very dark, twisted love story because anybody can write a love story about lovable people. And then Covenant is a team that, that rises to stop them and it's following through uh, kind of their complications of their lives now that they've been out in as superheroes. Gotcha. Gotcha. Interesting. That's yeah. very interesting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Very interesting concept. Good. How are you? I think that's how we should all be celebrating our Thanksgiving. <laughs> and I will never, there will never be a time when I will not be weirded out by, uh, you know, the mouse pads. They sell a lot of anime conventions and stuff where it's got like... All Might's pets. Um, like, yes, I actually have one of them that has All Might's pets. <laughs> not All Might's pets, but uh, Alex Louise Armstrong's pets that I rest my arm on when I am working in the studio because it's so soft and it feels so weird. I can smush them. Uh, I will leave it at that. That's a weird one. Okay, we've got about five more minutes. It looks like you'll be our last question, friend. What can you tell us about the new Dragon Ball Super movie? Well, it's interesting. I just explained this to some people earlier. Are you guys here? The ones that I told the story? Okay. Okay, so, um, I can tell you guys the story of exactly what it's going to be. So, it starts off, Piccolo is looking after Gohan's baby, rocking baby Pan in his arms, um, when suddenly he begins to convulse, like he starts shaking, like, it, like he convulsing violently. And then suddenly he like, like falls off the chair. Luckily the baby is powerful, so it doesn't hurt it. And then there's an explosion and Kami and Nail pop out of his body and say, Piccolo, why are you a babysitter now? We combined forces, we gave you our life spirit and we fused with you to become a stronger warrior and your powers have been wasted. And Nail's like, yeah, that's true, because I don't do Nail's voice. He goes, we hate you now. And then they fuse together to become a new warrior that hates Piccolo. And he flies off and he smashes through the window. He flies off into the distance. And as he does, he sees Yamcha down below running. He's like, hey guys, how's it going? And then he blasts Yamcha with the, their own version of the special beam cannon. And Yamcha explodes. So we are walking around. We some, see some great stuff and great food. There's stuff going on outside as well. Got some nice shirts here. Nice uh, souvenirs if you want to buy something. I haven't seen you in a while. I know, I've been busy. <laughs> how have you been? Good, how have you been? Good, good. good. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, you take care. You too. Bye. See ya. Here, that's it. Like everyone else just has to be quiet. But you have burned the spot to get to lady. And I brought up first camp. How did I do that? I don't know. I was just, I was about to ask, like, what's, like, some of the worst conditions that you've had to? Is that because I complain a lot? So <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't know what to say. Well, it's like, it gets, this game has been through so much that it,
So if I complain through that, I'm a real fucking asshole. <laughs> and if it seems like I complain through that, I definitely, I want to set the record straight. My apologies. It's just his general nature that sounds like complaining. It's a tone. Thank you very, very much. Hello. All right, so it's kind of a question across the panel, but uh, Ryan, first of all, I love you and I remember the Titans. Uh, but I will say, I, I saw a video on YouTube where after Hopi got killed off, they had a samurai sword with Charlie and Mark that they cut your beard off. It seemed like an emotional kind of experience for, for, for you. But then there was so much killing off throughout the whole series. And then all y'all kind of have like this ritualistic kind of you know, departing and looks like cast wasn't that emotional in real life as it was, say, in the actual you know, show. Yeah, you know, I mean, it was probably the first time that I'd gotten such a, you know, a uh, project that had taken up so much of my life. And, um, you know, I'm a sucker for a little bit of ritual. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, it just felt like a fitting sort of goodbye. And it was, um, it was not so much a goodbye to the characters, it was to that chapter of my life and, and that time that I had spent in So, professionals 
But I'm sorry, man, when you work on a show for six years, seven years, you get emotionally attached. And um, I had a reaction. I had a very reaction. You know, I was very bitter, very angry. You know, I, I was uh, not, not fun to be around. I, I think we all can respect and appreciate that because I think it taught a lot of us how men can have a platonic love amongst themselves and literally create a brotherhood. And I think that's very authentic and just makes us care about your characterizations that much more. To see how it impacted you to be on the show and then not, or even to not be on the show in the capacity that you had more, I think that's a beautiful thing. So give some love to that one because that really speaks a lot to you.